not bad though. It looks good. But we're gonna start off back here in Palm Lake Bayou, uh, where the sun's beating. One, the sun's beating on one side of the bayou, just beaming on it. And the fish know that that's where the sun's gonna be first every morning. So that's where we're gonna go start. Hopefully get a limit right quick. High hopes, because it's really low. Really low. All right, change of plan. Two guys already in the lake fishing. So one. Back off of this. Don't want to hit this. I think that's one. I think he's a keeper. Got two guys in the lake fishing already. They were here first. I don't like crowding people, and I don't like fishing in crowds, so. Ooh, look at the belly on that one. We're gonna give them their space. That is 11. That is 11, definitely. That was kind of a nice surprise. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That is a good one. Oh, how's he hooked? He hooked pretty good. Get up in here. Hey, you right. I'm a two full. I'm a two. Woo! Mm-hmm. I like a dat. down to three boats in the lake. They keep leaving out of it. I might stay and fish it. I'm just afraid where if I go to my next spots, there's already gonna be people there too. So it's kinda like, do I stay put? Or do I go somewhere else? The age old decision, to move or not to move. I think anywhere you're fishing, there's gonna be fish moving up all day. Especially if that sun would actually stay out for a while, which would make it a break in them clouds here in a, in a few. That was a good one. 
There he is. Don't come off, baby. Don't come off. Don't come off, baby. He's decent. He's a keeper. He ain't massive, but he's a keeper. He is a keeper. He's pissing. He's a pissing. Pissing all over the boat. Bruh. Why you get pissed on my boat, bruh? That ain't nice. You know what that bike tells me? It tells me they're here. And that they're ready to eat. They're feeding up. So if I get on top of one, I'm probably gonna get them to bite. I think I just need to stay here and just tough it out in this bayou. Got plenty of area to cover. And I got the bayou to myself right now, so. I saw that fish come up behind it and eat it. I don't know if the camera caught it, but I saw it. He came up to it, slapped it. I saw before he slapped it, I saw him coming up to it. That's always key. If you can keep an eye on your lure on top water, don't sit. You gotta wait. And all of a sudden, if you see them and it's hit and then the lure is gone, then you can sit. But keep working your lure like you normally do. Or stop it, actually. And then if he's, the lure's still there, as soon as you pop it again, he's usually gonna attack it. That's a money shot right there, son. That's money. There's a little one. There he is, a little one. He might actually be 11 though. I don't know. That point right there is just screaming five pounder. Now he ain't five, but might actually be a keeper though. He is a heck of a line burner, man. He makes it though. He makes it. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay, okay, okay. Listen here. Be all right. That was a giant. I don't see any beds yet. Still not seeing any beds made. It's 
kind of odd that the females are already moving in. And the males are not here making bids. If the weather stays good and stable by next week, this place is going to be full of males. There's a bed under there. See nothing on it, but it looks like a bed. Hmm. Yeah, well, I don't see nothing on it. Anybody else ahead of you here?
damn it, man. I wasn't expecting it. I was thinking, wasn't paying attention, just, just going about it. Man, come on, Chris, get your mind in it. Perfect. Don't come off, baby, don't come off. Barely hooked. He's a keeper, he's good. Oh yeah, five fish. Got my limit. Got my limit. My limit fools. Mm. Mm. Number five. Woo. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Mm. Got five. Woo. Good deal. Mm. Good deal. Oh man, I relax now. I feel good better. They want it so slow. They want to just barely moving it, pop it a few times and stop. me good before in the past. Got me out of a pinch before. That was a good fish. Alright guys, it's 11.30. We're headed back to the launch. Got five. I really feel like I lost this one. You know, I lost a few good fish that would have really, you know, really helped me out. But I'm grateful for what I do have. It's a gorgeous day we had today. I had a lot of fun. So let's go put them on a scale. Hopefully, end up with some good points out of this one. Yeah, out of the dirt parking lot. Sling mud all over my truck. I've had enough of this launch, man. They don't do anything with it. Steal your money. Now I'm gonna sling mud all over my boat now. They can't put a damn gravel down. Watch this. Awesome. It'll be all over my carpet, my seats. Uh, awesome. I hate that launch. If you're gonna charge seven dollars, do something with my money. Fix the parking lot. Well guys, Bon Fuga tournament's a wrap. Thought I was gonna do pretty good. I didn't even get in the money. You know, talking to a lot of people during the day, he's like, oh, I got one, I got two. I knew, you know, there's gonna be a couple people gonna have a limp, and I knew that. There's some good people in this tournament. Some, some, uh, some good fishermen. Oh man, I didn't think to get my butt whooped that bad. I was hoping to come out with some good points. I don't even think I've done that. 
uh, out of, what was it, 21 people, I might have, yeah, I, I think I placed in the top 10. I feel pretty certain on that. I don't know, I'll give you all the results later. Probably post them right here. It was fun. Grateful for the fish I did catch. You know, I caught quite a few fish. I feel like I lost the tournament, not the fish I lost. You know, I lost a few good fish that would have definitely made a difference. But still, like I said, grateful for what I did catch. I had fun today. It was an absolutely beautiful day. Now I'm going to drive home, wash the mud off the boat that I done flung up on it. Ooh, I gotta get gas first. Truck's almost empty. Give me some gas, go home, wash the mud off the boat. Cover her up. Well, that's it. I guess I'll see you guys on the next episode.